Hello all, welcome back again to my YouTube channel Z Academy. Uh, today let's talk about the formula syntax which is uh, basically how the formulas and the function are written and what component they contain to make them work. On this demo, uh, we are going to be looking at the lookup functions but don't worry about exactly what the lookup is designed to do. If you want to uh, watch that video for the lookup to learn it, the link is in the i button, just go and watch it out first. For now, just pay the attention uh, to the way that is written and the first thing you will probably notice is the function name. And that just tells me, uh, tells that Excel what type of operations you are about to perform. In this case, lookup and there are around nearly 500 different functions in the Excel which is designed to accomplish very specific distant tasks couple of things uh, to note here for one function name aren't actually case sensitive uh, I write mine which is a VLOOKUP in all caps help me kind of like differentiate between the function names and the rest of my formulas other people prefer the lower cases so you know it's really up to you uh, and second the function names uh, actually aren't always required if you are performing basic arithmetic like uh, like addition subtraction uh, division or logical operations like greater than less than equal to not equal to those operators generally stand for themselves and you don't need a separate defined function to perform those type of operations now following the function name came the argument and the argument functions are specific they vary by function and they are designed to provide excel uh, with any info i mean information needed to evaluate the proper result so in this case with our uh, lookup functions we have got four arguments here the lookup value first then table array column index number and the last is the range lookup but only these three arguments are actually required because and note that here the range lookup which is surrounded by the square bracket that means it's an optional argument so excel will apply a default value for the range lookup if we were to leave that i mean the fourth argument blank but there are additional options as well if you want to choose to use them as well there is an option and while most function in fact the vast majority will have like at least one required argument there actually um, are some that don't require a single argument at all. So the functions like row or column which returns an attributes of a given cell or today and now which are volatile functions designed to return the current date or the current time. Those don't require any argument. You just open up the parenthesis and close the parenthesis and you are good to go. Now we are going to cover all four of those functions I mean later in this course and if you still want to watch this source score I mean those uh, today now and those attributes so just go ahead the link is in the i button on the right hand corner and watch it out. So a couple of things to keep in mind here you are always going to start your formula with equal to sign you're always going to surrounded your argument with parentheses and that's an important thing to keep in mind in the example if, uh, of the syntax which we have you are looking at here and in these demos uh, that's I'm going to walk you through throughout the courses my argument will be separated by commas now the pro tip here as you are beginning writing your formula excel has a really helpful tool which is called as the function screen tips box which will appear once you open up i mean writing write your formula by putting equal to sign that pops up uh, in the formula bar and it will guide you through each individual argument in the bold and i found this to be an extremely helpful tool especially once you start writing more complex native functions where like it's very um, easy to lose your place over there so so there you have it hopefully that that was a helpful primer on the formula syntax so thank you all thank you all for watching this video and if you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe the channel to for the more videos to the sz academy thank you all